In this video, we're considering the following two identical forms that are subject to a unit step and put. We're going to simulate the two different forms uh, using MATLAB and Simulink. So the two forms, the transfer function form that you can see there, and also the phase variable colloquial form. So we're going to begin by opening up MATLAB and then going to Simulink. So we go home, then click on this Simulink tab and it'll launch this. Okay, click on uh, blank model. This will create you a model. And if we just expand this, and if we go here, this will open the library browser. So the library browser contains all the blocks that are needed to uh, um, construct the transfer function simulation and also the phase variable canonical form. So to begin with, let's get a transfer function block. So if we go to continuous in the library, find this continuous transfer function here. Okay, you'll notice it's a first order transfer function. What we simply do is click and drag that onto this, onto the blank folder. Okay, so now what I want to do is, is specify the coefficient values. So in this case, the value for the numerator was one. The value for the um, denominator coefficients were one, three, and two. It's second order, so s squared plus three s plus two, and then click OK. Okay, you'll notice you can't see all the coefficients of the trans function, so if we just click and expand that, now you can. Okay, so we said the source, so all the input, we're going to apply a unit step input. So if you go on to sources, you'll see all the inputs that you can apply to the model. Here's step, so we click on that and drag that across here and just connect the block. Double click on the step input and some key property in here that might be of use. So step time, that is the time that you're gonna apply the step input. So by default here, you'll see MATLAB has set it to one. Initial value zero, and then the final value one. Okay, we're after a unit step input. So a unit step input is one over S. So we wanna keep that as one. Keeping step time as one might be useful for um, graphical visual reasons. Click OK. And then for the output, what we're going to use is we're going to use a scope. So we go to sinks, then click on scope, drag that across, connect it up. And that effectively there is your transfer function in Simulink. What I'm going to now do is click this run button here. And what it's going to do is simulate that transfer function. Double click on the scope. And here is your output. What might be useful to do is to compare your input to your output. So something known as a MUX, that's found in commonly used blocks. If I just drag that over, break this line. What that's doing at the moment is the same as before. But if we drag from here to here, what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the input the output, because the output is the system or follow the input, and then it's going to lay those two on top of each other so we can compare the input to the output. Simulate as we did before, double click, and there you'll see your unit step input applied at t equal to 1, amplitude of 1, and there you'll see your system response. Okay, so that's transfer function form. <clears throat> now we're going to do the fade, well, we're going to construct the phase variable canonical form. So what we need for this is three gains, two integrators, a sum injunction, an input, an output, and a mux. So if you go to commonly used blocks, drag over three gain blocks. We need two integrators because it's second order. And a sum injunction. Okay, we're going to apply, um, as we did before, step input. For the sinks, we're going to use a different output, and you'll see why in a minute or so. 
Okay, so by default, if I double click on that, the variable name is called sim out. What you want to do is change this to array 2D array. Okay, that'll output into the form that we need. Click OK. And then what we're going to do then is construct it into the form of the phase variable. Okay, so there's some injunction here. So positive value can stay. We need two negatives. And what you'll see is that there has then given you the two negatives that you need. To flip these box, we can right click these gain blocks, sorry. Right click, go flip block, and go there. Alternatively, control I as it was just specified. Okay, so let's finish constructing this. Okay, so in terms of the coefficients, what we're going to do is we're going to click on these and we're going to put it. We're not going to specify the values, we're going to put it in the general form. So k multiplied by b, here a, and here b. Okay, and the reason why we're doing this is because what we're going to, what we're going to now go back to is the MATLAB script. That's already been written. And this here, effectively, this MATLAB script is going to run this Simulink diagram. So we've got the usual commands at the start. So clear CLC, close all. So clear the workspace, clear the command window, close open figures. System properties. Okay, so we specified them here. So A equals 3, B equals 2, and then K equals 0 0.5 to so the game value. Simulation time. So T equals 5. So what we can do in Simulink here is we can specify a value, sorry, denote that as T, and then we can specify the time that we wish the simulation to run in here. So say for example, 10. Let's say it's 10 as what we had before. Okay, so graphical output. So plot, oh sorry, I should go out. Sorry, to Simulink the Simulink diagram, this is the command we use, out equals sim. And then in brackets, and then these quotation marks, simulation process. So we need to make sure that the simulink file is called whatever we specify here. So we go to simulink file, save as, and we also need to make sure that the simulink block diagram is saved in the same place as um, saved in the same place. As the, um, I'll just override that from the one from earlier. It's saved in the same place as the MATLAB script. So you can check over here, you can see that it is. So if I look at my current folder, you can see there, sim process, simulation process from my simulink file. Okay, so out equals sim, so simulation of simulink process, this block. And then here, the typical commands for graphical output. So plot out, t out, which is effectively just plot in time, S out, sim out. So it's the output, and it's sim out, it's denoted sim out because it's defined as sim out here. Set uh, GCA to font size to twenty. The X and Y labels, so the X label we'll call time seconds, and the Y label output both font size thirty. Put a grid on. Then a legend, unit step input, and output. Okay, so the one thing I have I have forgotten to do is to use a mux so that I'm plotting the input and output on top of each other. So what I can do here is I can just for quickness just copy and paste the mux there. I'm just gonna break that there. Connect all this together. And join that there. Okay, so that's same similar manner to the transfer function. What it's doing is plotting um, the input and the output on top of each other so you can pair them. Okay, so now if I go back to here, this is MATLAB, click run, and hopefully this runs. 
Okay, and then now you can see your your graphical output. So unit step input, which is the blue, so you can see there, and output, which is the orange. Okay, so these graph using MATLAB coupled up with Simulink enables you to kind of have these much prettier graphs that are much more useful in terms of using for your reports. Okay, so if you go edit, copy figure, and then you can paste that into a Word document, it'll look, it'll look very good in your report. Okay, so what we've gone over is how to simulate effectively. You can see this transfer function form, the phase variable, colloquial form using MATLAB and Simulink.